doing today? You in the kitchen with your boy, TJ. We're gonna, we're gonna grill and chill a little bit today. I'm gonna show a little bit. I'm gonna perk this me. I'm gonna show a little bit of what I do, but not everything because I gotta leave a little bit of secrecy to the, to the heat. But we're gonna have, you know, this, this ham right here. I'm about to season it up. Excuse my hair. This is about the food, not about me. But uh, we're gonna season it up with some, with a little bit of shit. Most of my shit, a lot of people like to go out and buy the expensive shit. You ain't gotta use expensive shit. You just gotta know how to use what you get. You know what I mean? Uh, let me rinse out my hands real quick. Sitting here fucking with my hair. Uh, so, like, when you when you seasoning up all your foods and everything, you wanna keep everything. You know tight you don't want your meat to get too spread out you want it to get up in there and uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh go ahead and throw some of the stuff up in there we're gonna we're gonna just sporadically you know through I've, i cheated this time usually i slice it up myself but i got a good deal so i went ahead and bought a spiral cut uh, ham this time. Usually I just get the normal ones, cause but whenever they they on sale like they was, I I went ahead and got it. I'm just gonna throw that through there, you know, just a little bit. That's just some basic old cheap steak seasoning, onion powder. You always gotta have some onion powder somewhere around your shit. We're gonna we're gonna just throw it all up in here too. It ain't gotta be on the same. It ain't gotta be all the way through it, cause this shit's gonna simmer. It's gonna stew. It's gonna it's gonna work all the way through there. So you ain't gotta sit there and be all real specific on this shit. Fresh crushed black pepper. That's that's the best way to do it. If you want some good peppery flavor up in there, don't be shy with seasoning. I said it before. I'm gonna say it again. I'll probably say it another ten times. Season your shit, man. Have flavor up in your shit. Make it do what it do. Make it flavorful. Make it your own. You know, a lot of people always want to be boring and shit. We don't like that boring shit. You know, have some flavor up in your shit. Now this, I am going to tell y'all, this is one of my secret favorite things that I've been using here lately. It really, it puts the smokiness in there. And just the way that it hits, mm. but I'm telling you, I love, I like the smoky flavor. That's why I'd be over the grill. If it ain't fried and it ain't barbecue, I really don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, the reason I like barbecues, I like the smoke. I get all my smokes in there. You don't really see me use no propane on no meat. I don't really like doing that unless it's something I'm cooking hardcore. But this shit here, I, I'm going to endorse them. It's some Weber's. Some Weber's smoking mesquite. This shit here, yeah, it's it's this is it's where it's at, dog. I fuck with this hardcore. I fuck. Dude, I got a few seasonings, you know. I'll bust down to y'all over time, but this is one of my go-to's that I really have. I found I enjoy because it. Pow! There's the motherfucking smoke in your mouth type shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw this. This one here, I'm gonna be real loving with it. I, I'm telling you, because ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing better than that smoke. Well, that's what I barbecue for, because I like smoke. I like to smoke. I like smoke. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We're going to get this shit all up in this motherfucker, though. But uh, wait wait till y'all, man, If I wish I could bust down a plate and send it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just so y'all can bear witness and see that I don't just be on no bullshit. I don't just be over here uh, jeffing and shit. Now, I'm going to take this ham. I got some, some little barbecue sauce. Just some cheap shit. Like I said, it ain't about the high, high quality. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to set this inside this bowl. But uh, I got some sweet baby rice. This is a Hawaiian kind because I'm doing a ham. I like Hawaiian. I'm gonna later on whenever I take my meat out there, I gotta go grab me some pineapple sizes. That's gonna get thrown up in there. I'll put another video on later on though. But we're gonna we're gonna throw some, just not a whole lot because this we ain't. It's not. I don't really. 
use too much motherfucking uh, sauce, you know. I just want I just want to get just a hint of it up in there, you know what I'm saying? Just a, just a little, not a whole lot. Just just for the, you know, the texture. I guess I, I don't even know what the fuck I put it in there for <laughs> because I barely use any. But I, I like how in the end I'll, I'll add some more and it'll turn into a glaze. The meat comes with the glaze. I don't really use that. I, I, I whip up my own little concoction of shit. But uh, that's just that's the that's just getting it a little bit of preparation. I thought I'd show a little bit of video how we do it. Once again, as I always, I got to shout out my people at the Copper Chef. Because without them, I ain't slicing shit. Everything stick. Alright? Well, we're going to keep it cracking. We're going to shoot some more video later on. Get this fire going after a while. Once again, check that out though. That's some real hot fire.